Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. It is rewards time in a few hours. We're gonna talk about the market today. Are these the last foot freeze SBCs that we will see today on Thursday in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team? Was a new card design that was put into the code as well. We're gonna talk about that, kind of taking us back to the Summer Showdown SBCs that were out last year during Summer Heat. So we're gonna talk about that in today's video as well. But the thing I wanna talk about right now is, there are a lot of cards getting panic sold into weekend league rewards and the number one guy that everybody is looking at right now is alan st maximin this dude was extinct at 1.3 million coins for the entirety of this week and he's right now down to 1.06 usman dembele as well was like a 1.6 million coin card and he is now down to 1.2 mil crazy price drops on a lot of these foot freeze items headed into rewards because what happens is people think they're going to get packed, right? They think they're going to get packed. They see these guys' prices as a uh, something that's going to drop a lot in the near future with rewards coming, and there's a lot of panic selling. So that's why you see a lot of this. I do think that it does rebound, though, after rewards today because these cards are very rare. A lot of people want to try them, and this is what happened with these cards last week, too. St. Maximin and Dembele are probably going to have similar movements to guys like Bernardo Silva, Casemiro, and Mane as of uh, a couple weeks ago when these cards were in packs, right? Bernardo Silva, I remember at rewards time, dipped down like 50, 60K and then rebounded like crazy because it was a cool position change card uh, in, in FIFA that a lot of people wanted to use. And I think that's gonna happen with Dembele, you know, St. Maximin probably, Chiellini as well. Keep an eye on those cards today because I do think they will rebound after rewards. But again, one thing I do want to talk about today is how is, are we seeing the last foot freeze SBC today on Thursday, right? I want to take a look ahead at the content drop for today. We have a center mid Liverpool item that was shown to us earlier this week. Now that graphic is not on the loading screen anymore. Um, there's no teaser graphic out here, but I think we're seeing the last foot freeze SBC today. I think um, they haven't updated any other, you know, like uh, here on the, the hub, right? The foot hub, they've been showing us, you know, the French striker. They showed us the Wolfsburg player. And then today on Thursday is the last one center mid from Liverpool. So we're thinking it could be a few different cards. And hopefully we get the same SBC guy that priced our right. But we're thinking today that it could be for Mino. Right, we could be getting a special Firmino card today, or possibly a special Trent Alexander Arnold. Of course, Firmino was not in Team of the Week this week. We got a Jordan Henderson Team of the Week card, which made a lot of people think that the SBC we could be getting today could be a Roberto Firmino item. Now, it's going to be very interesting to see who EA does pick for today's SBC, but if it is at all similarly priced to the OUR SBC, I think the OUR SBC. Uh, in terms of value for the player that you get is probably like the best. Marquinhos and Awar are the top two SBCs from this foot freeze promo, in my opinion. Now, we got that a couple days ago. Yesterday, we had Joao Victor, which is basically that Luca Bacchio SBC from FIFA 20 foot miss all over again. A very expensive striker in the Bundesliga, not worth it. Um, we got we got the expensive SBC guy yesterday for Joao Victor. We got the good SBC guy for Awar. Hopefully the good guy shows up again today and we end the foot freeze promo on a high note with the um, a Firmino or a Trent Alexander Arnold position change SBC. Now I have said and I have mentioned that I think there are some possible investments you can make that would link to these cards. Mohamed Salah is one of them. I would still look at these, right? Mohamed Salah's gold card, whoever the SBC is, if it comes out today, if it is good value and it's a card that is usable um, and, you know, it's Premier League, right? It's Liverpool, so there's going to be hype there. But if it's a good value card that is, is usable, I think you will see cards like the Salah, like Mane. 247 for the Salah is kind of where he has been. He, it's before rewards when I'm recording this. So his price is still kind of low, right? Same thing with Mane today. Uh, this guy actually has been dropping. Mane was under 20. He was like 215 earlier today now he's back up almost to 230 it looks like 225 so 
after uh, when rewards comes as well, this probably ticks up again another decent amount. Um, but again, I would just I would just recommend if you're wanting to do any last minute Thursday flips, take a look at some of these Liverpool players that could link to a center mid card. So maybe a center back, maybe Van Dyke gold card, um, right wing especially, maybe some other center attacking mids and strikers. Um, yeah, of course, you might want to take a look at like a Firmino um, center attacking mid card. They could put out a number of people today. I'm honestly just feeling that it's going to be a decent value SBC. And I think this is the last one, right? Because we have not had any other teaser SBCs released here on the loading screen. So that's why I kind of titled the video what I did today. It seems like the foot freeze, like the daily SBC kind of thing. Um, and I'm going to pull up the actual website right now and see if they gave us any information on when the actual SBCs are going to be ending. It just says freeze player SBCs uh, will go live throughout the event. So it doesn't actually say it doesn't actually say no, it, it doesn't give us a date for when the freeze player SBCs are going to end. But I think the last one might be today since they have not been updating that teaser screen um, for the last couple of days. And this Liverpool one is the last one that we saw. So I think that's going to be it for today and foot freeze. And then after today on, on Thursday, I think we might be kind of done with that whole SBC stuff, even though the road to the final cards and the other foot freeze items are in packs through the weekend. Of course, you can see here. This display, five foot freeze items are now in packs for five days, 11 hours. Same thing with the road to the final items. And just in case you wondered, there's new winter stadium items that you can pack and have now in your in your ultimate team. W, I guess. But uh, the other thing that a lot of people are looking forward to right now and are really, really wanting is new icon SBCs. And I don't know if this is going to come today on a Thursday, but... These guys are expiring in two days. I think it's possible on Friday that we get new icon SBCs out in this game. Uh, but it's just very interesting to me that we have not gotten any more yet. After we had the initial, what was it, like six or seven? Now we have not had literally any since then. So um, that's kind of interesting to me that we have not gotten those yet. Hopefully we do get some more of those and league SBCs as well. We have the MLS, we have Syria, the Comedy Bowl. Uh, and that's it. Like we need some more league SBCs EA, even though these SBCs are, um, they don't give out any players, right? Which is a huge L for a lot of people. Uh, I think people are still doing these for the packs, hundred K pack for the, uh, Syria. I think some people have grinded towards that. Um, but hopefully we get some more icon or league SBCs today as well. It's like this promo Literally today is the final day where EA can either leave people in FIFA with a good taste in their mouth about this foot freeze promo or they leave them with a bad taste, right? Because the SBCs we've had so far, have they been terrible value? Some of them have been, right? A lot of them have just been okay value though. And the position change have some sometimes been cool, right? Awar was awesome. Lamer was pretty decent. Lala though, eh, right? Joao Victor, no thanks. That's one of the worst ones. But then you had some other ones like Marquinhos was good. Jesus Navas was kind of a joke, right? For the player that he is and how he fits in game. Adama Traore, once they upgraded the, the work rates and, and changing his uh, strong foot, that was kind of a card that a lot of people were interested in, right? The 86 plus upgrade, we could get another SBC like this today. I know it has three days remaining, but that could be another SBC that we would get pretty soon uh, as well as another like repeatable uh, pack that they could put out. A lot of people would be interested in that in my opinion. This Aguero card has been out for forever, I feel like. Three days remaining, he's still out. We still have Wambasaka that is out as well. So a lot of these cards are out for a very long time. Serge Nabry is out. Um, for eight more days so you have a lot of these SBCs that are out in the game at the moment that are foot freeze cards that some of them are just okay um but i think the last one we are getting is today with liverpool unless ea is going to do more over the weekend we shall see now again footwatch tweeted out some code today they tweeted out the showdown right i think they tweeted out the code and they called it um yeah, Showdown and Showdown Plus. Now, this is kind of interesting, right? Because we had stuff last year in FIFA that was called Summer Showdown, which was part of the Summer Heat promotion. And that was the card design that you saw on the, the thumbnail for this video today. Showdown and Showdown Plus was added in as an item type. These are the cards. This is probably the Showdown item. 
uh, with the upgrade kind of symbols, as you can see here, very similar to these as of last year, right? We have the Vinicius Jr. with like the Heat logo on them and also kind of similar to the... Um, Oh, the cards we had last year too. Oh, the headliners. We had headliners last year as well that it kind of had this same symbol at the top. So this would be like the card when it's released, not upgraded. And then this would be like the upgraded version with the, the green around the edge and then the green as the up arrow as well. And just a reminder, what Summer Showdown was and what these possible items could mean is uh, each week they highlighted real world football matches with special summer heat players so they would put out uh two players with those teams are playing against each other and you would have an sbc and you would say all right you have to do this sbc whichever one you do or if you do both of them if they're if the game ends in a draw they both get a plus one boost and if either team wins the the player that was uh the sbc player would get a plus three right so real madrid played against i forget who it was I think it was like Vinicius versus uh, Darwin Machis was like the matchup for the Summer Showdown. And Real Madrid won. So this Vinicius card went from a 92 to a 95. And that could be what we see here with this uh, Showdown and Showdown Plus. This would be something, this brought a lot of hype last year because it was another aspect of FIFA that tied you know FIFA to real life. People love this. And last year, especially during Summer Heat, uh, a lot of these SBCs were very, very good value. I think um, Wijnaldum was another card last year that had a Summer Heat. Did he? Or was it just a regular one? Okay, never mind. He did not have a, a boosted one. Um, I was looking at Ericsson. There's a lot of Summer Heat cards last year, so I kind of forget which ones were like actually boosted for uh, a Summer Heat. But um, a lot of those Summer Showdowns last year, if you guys do remember... As you can see here, if they, they get a permanent plus three overall stats boost if they win, and in a draw, they get a plus one. So that's kind of the whole premise behind what these cards could be, unless this is a new promo that EA is going to be putting out on Friday. I honestly don't think, and we'll talk about this for a second, I don't feel like reading a new promo on Friday, man, because uh, we have Road to the Final Items and Packs through the weekend. Foot Freeze is technically like not over, because those cards are in packs for five more days. I don't know if EA can, like, have they ever done a point where there's been three different types of card sets and packs? I don't know. I feel like this Friday would be like Icon, SBCs, or some sort of other SBC type promo, uh, and not more cards and packs. I don't know. It would make sense if they put in Team of the Year nominees, and maybe if we have some more pack code released on Thursday night, tomorrow, we'll see that. Um, but as of right now, it's we're kind of going towards a Friday that looks kind of maybe stale on the game, I guess, and not a super duper hype time on the game. Uh, right now, I am kind of prepping up and trying to find some of my last Thursday flips. If you guys saw this in the video earlier today, that sold first listing. I got a nice lazy on a Zaha at 150, and that was a really, really nice lazy sale. So I'm gonna check through a couple prices right now because I'm recording this right before rewards. And I'm just going to see what I can find. This Zaha card in like the 120s is a huge buy in my opinion. I have some Ali Watkins as well. Just to be fully just to be fully um, transparent with you guys before rewards. Kind of showing you what I bought. The second in form Ali Watkins at like 50k is a major buy. Center attacking mid uh, position change there as well is a big dub for this card. I think that's going to be upwards of 60k after rewards. Um, one thing to note, if you guys bought gold cards, one thing that we've noticed in the past couple weeks is a lot of these gold cards, uh, they actually skyrocket and a lot of their prices go up the most in the hour between rivals rewards and weekend league rewards. So if you are somebody who invested in gold cards, always make sure that if you're, even if you're going to sleep or if it's like really early in the morning, overnight, whenever rewards are for you try to make those cards so that they're listed overnight and are on the market, right? So like a guy like Joe Gomez, who I think was, he's like under 30K again, e even after a lot of people bought this card as an investment this week. I think he's like 29, 30,000 coins. Yeah, he's right, 29.5. This card probably is gonna spike up between rivals and between weekend league rewards because with rivals rewards, a lot of people take untradeable, but 
they start buying their stuff. And then once the tradable rewards come out for weekend league, some of the stuff gets supplied and more listings come out and people change their teams and buy other players that because maybe they got somebody new, right? So I think a lot of the golds actually spike a lot during that hour between rivals rewards coming out and foot champ. So just be very careful. Even if you're on for rewards and you're watching this video, see if that happens again this week. I would expect it to in my opinion. But again, I want to take a look at some of these uh, foot freeze cards just really quick here at the end of this video, because even a guy like Chiellini, we look at this every week with the team of the week. Uh, this card, I think has caught a lot of people's eyes. 223 for Chiellini. That's the cheapest one on the market right now. Really? I mean, I can't really flip this for a tax profit, if I'm being honest, unless he's at 240. Uh, I mean, I can barely make profit off of that. There's like 11K tax. I'm probably not going to try that, especially if it's not selling uh, a 10K undercut right now before rewards. But watch these guys getting supplied during rewards, these first five cards. Uh, Chiellini, of course, Moreno, um, Goosens. Maximin and Dembele. Wow, Dembele was just 1.28, and now Flippin is saying he's 134. These cards, they're they're definitely gonna uh, skyrocket at some point. And it looks like Dembele is just really, really rare. How rare is Alan Saint Maximin under like one point? Let's go like one point uh, one point one five, one point one seven, which is 100k over his price. Yeah, there's not a lot of supply there. So I think some of these cards are going to skyrocket just because they have a lot of hype. And right now, it's just a lot of people that are panic selling these cards. Uh, first owner tradable. How many of these are second owner uh, that somebody would have sniped? Second owner tradable. No games played, right? I, I bet if you snipe this guy, though, you're probably playing games with him. So fourth owner, second owner tradable. Somebody bought that card, played games with it. What about this one? Second owner tradable. They sniped it probably. Third owner. Yup fourth owner again so a lot of these cards are you know second third fourth owner which tells me that probably people who are listing these up are losing coins so just be careful today with rewards i do think you will see some of these guys bounce back even though they seem very expensive a lot of people want to try out these new freeze items because the position change and the stats upgrade so that's kind of the video for today boys it really comes down to the sbc content for today are we going to see a winter showdown or showdown type promo or even just cards come out in the game this weekend that's kind of up in the air at the moment and uh i think i'm really curious to see what happens with some of these foot freeze cards at rewards today um yeah boys should be a good one for sure if you enjoyed the video smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later peace out